uh, the steps are not many, simple, uh, just three. First, you have to create a new folder and call it OSGI-INF. And then you have to register that, uh, I mean, the services in the manifest file. And then we'll get to creating the service, which uh, in this case will be a model factory code. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get to our um, plugin. Now, at the moment, I'm working with a new plugin. It's warehouse management. And I'm going to create, like I say, the folder first. So here we go. That's how we do it. And give it a name for OHEI. And that. Okay, here is created, and the next thing is we try to register it in the manifest file. Let's open the manifest file first and uh, take a look. Uh, the manifest file will not contain this new registry, but um, as you can see here, it is not there yet, and but it will appear once you do this. New, go for um, the component service under the plugin. Right here it is. Next, okay. Give it a unique name. So. Um, I'm, I'm gonna name it according to convention that I did in other projects and you can open up another plugin that I've done such as Libero Manufacturing and here you have that name so let's do that again to keep things standard and also you can copy and paste I'll show you shortly All right. let's get the component and let's call it uh, all right, it is called MSG Mode. So I'm going to call it uh, Warehouse Management. <clears throat> Maybe it is. All right, and um, call it Model Factory. All right, finish it off. <clears throat> and you see that your component appears here, which is very important. Okay, it opens up this and <clears throat> we got to do things to this but here is the shortcut let's open up this one go to the source <clears throat> and copy the whole thing right let's copy the whole thing <clears throat> yes we can do that Yeah, let's get them aligned. Okay. Now <clears throat> we let's see if everything is correct. Yep, it seems correct. Now of course you have to create your own class and you don't have that uh, yet, so let me so we need a class called WSM Model Factory, and again, you can do that by copying another class. Okay, this is the other class, and let's see where it is by right-clicking, showing package explorer. Here it is. Copy that. Copy that. Go to your own um, source. Um, right, and uh, paste it. <clears throat> and we will rename. <coughs> we will rename it. Okay, so we we'll rename it um, to the name that that modify, which is the WMS uh, prefix. 
Okay, he's doing a bill. In the jiffy. So close this and um, have that rename to a bit of a mess. Hmm? So let's uh, test it. Should be here. See everything is correct. Da -da and look for the class is here. But of course we got to um, remove this and it is from the previous classes. Uh, I've made some notes what classes I'm supposed to do. And uh, yeah, I'm supposed to do these two classes. Right? I'm supposed to do these two classes, which is was an error before, and that's why I need to create them. So I need to create model for this and a model for that, right? So let me, well, that's basically, that is it, that's um, cr um, create your own classes and, and, and just follow the example from uh, the previous project in manufacturing and basically this register the factory so that these, um, the spring-like uh, framework will call the model classes, load the model classes as services. Right, and then this this is what scalability and performance of GI can bring. All right then, so I think I'll wrap up here. All right, I've uh, assigned a service and I've created a model factory. It's just that I've yet to do this code, and I've shown you where to get the sample. Okay, bye bye.